So I don't know about all of you guys, but personally, I really love reading and learning new things. I'm always excited about a new subject. Moving on to the new subject, there's always another book that I want to read, as you can see from just the small selections of paper books that I keep on hand, not to mention my overflowing Kindle devices. But there's only one problem with this constant appetite for reading and learning. You see, if you're the kind of person like me that is always moving on to the next book, you finish one book and you're just as excited and eager to search out the next book, well, there's a slight issue. Because as I teach in my accelerated learning courses and my super learner programs, one of the most important things that you can do to actually implement and learn is re review and repetition. The fact of the matter is, no matter how good you are at reading and memorizing, if you don't review everything that you read and learn over a period of time, you eventually will forget it. You might say to yourself, well, that's a real bummer because you spend so much time and energy and money reading all of these books just to forget everything that you learned and everything that you experienced as you went through each one of those books. But I mean, what are you going to do? It's not like you're going to spend all your time going back through old books and reading and reviewing and flipping through all of your highlights. No, I mean, you're excited to read that next book. So what if there was a tool that made it easy for you to automatically review and took all the guesswork and think work out of reviewing past books that you've read, simply reminding you of all the things that you pointed out and all the things that you specified that you learned in those previous books without having to do the manual labor of setting aside time and flipping through the quotes and checking your highlights, making flashcards and all that other stuff that frankly, you're not gonna do. Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you my secret weapon tool for doing exactly that and let you know how you can try it out for 60 days completely free. All right, so the tool that I wanna introduce you all to today is called Readwise. And I have been following these guys for a very long time. I think I was probably one of their very first users. And I love this tool because one of the things that's so important that I teach in all my accelerated learning courses is the importance of going back over material, that it is just not enough to read something once. But the fact of the matter is I used to recommend to people, you know, make flashcards, uh, flip through on weekends, old books you've read. None of that is actually ever going to happen. You're never actually going to make the time to go through the books that you've read in the past because you're always going on to new books. Unless there were a service and a system that automatically did this for you and put these quotes up in front of your face in a timely fashion and spaced them out and took all the think work out of it. So all you have to do is that spaced repetition. And that's exactly what Readwise is. I want to give you all a really quick tour of this amazing tool, uh, but you can always check out on their front page. And if you go to readwise.io slash superhuman, you actually also get a bonus 30 days of Readwise free which I believe means you get two whole months for free. The software is really, really honestly super affordable. But uh, even if you uh, don't end up paying for it, I do recommend that you check it out. It's really, really affordable uh, to use one way or another. So let's go ahead and just get logged in. All right, so we'll go ahead and get logged in and I'll just show you really quickly how this whole thing works. So first thing you're going to want to do is obviously pull in your highlights. You're going to be blown away to find out that not only can Readwise pull from all the different books that you've read, but they can pull from so many different sources of things that you're reading online and offline, which is huge if you are a mixed medium reader like I am. I love to once in a while read a paper book. If I've been gifted it, uh, I get a lot of paper books at different conferences that I go to. But I also, my main reading device is Kindle. That doesn't mean that I don't read on Pocket as well. So you can actually connect this software, Readwise, to tons of different things. First and most importantly, connect it to your Kindle. If you also read on your iPhone or iPad, connect it to your Apple iBooks, sync it with your Goodreads. You can also add supplemental books. And there are a ton of other softwares and services that I don't use, many of which I've never even heard of. Um, where people apparently do a lot of their reading. You can also, of course, manually import any highlights. 
and they even have a web highlighter, which you can install on your browser to highlight. And you can even download their iPhone app and take pictures and it will scan the text via OCR. Really, really cool optical character recognition. It will actually scan the text for you and add it in. So just to demonstrate really quickly, I don't want to go too, too far, but I'm going to really quickly go ahead and demonstrate how we go ahead and sync all of our Kindle highlights, how easy this is. And then once you do it, you know, once in a blue moon, you just need to go and resync them. So it has access to your highlights. You can just go here really, really quickly, hit import. Now that we have the browser extension installed, hit sync now. And it's just going to do all the work in the background and download all the 82 books that I have read recently. Uh, and it is going to sync all of my highlights that quick. It's already done. It just pulled in 24 new quotes from this book, 19 from this book. You can see I'm reading a lot about Bitcoin right now, but I'm also doing a bunch of um, parenting books. So very, very cool. Now we can go back to the dashboard. And if we want, we can add more connections. Uh, we could add Goodreads, for example, or add some supplemental books, which are really, really cool. Any books that we've read that are not on our Goodreads account. I like using the Goodreads because uh, even if I do read a book on paper, I wanted to recommend highlights that maybe I didn't have the time to actually upload on my own uh, and take the pictures and do the highlights. So I want it to just give me recommended quotes that other people have highlighted and it can do that for you. So even if you don't have the time, if you say, hey, look, you know, who has time to flip through a book that they read? It really only takes a few minutes, but I understand if you're on to the next book, you don't want to flip through. You don't want to take all those pictures. No big deal. It will actually tell you if you set it up in this fashion, there is a setting where you can tell it, hey, I want you to recommend other people's highlights to me, which is really, really cool, I think. Now, one of the big and important things here is you want this to be set up in a way that is convenient for you. I personally am trying to cut down on email as much as possible. I used to get these reviews once a week, but I found that it wasn't enough for me. So you can actually configure it to be once a day, once a week, once every other day. Now, truthfully, I'm going to be honest, my email inbox is getting a little overwhelmed right now uh, because I've been very busy being a dad. So I'm going to actually switch this to once per week. It's going to come to me at 2 p.m. Now, as far as review settings, I can actually tell it how many highlights I want to handle per day. If I'm in a really busy period, I may only get five highlights per day. And I, I can tell it if I want to scale towards older books or newer books. I lean a little bit more towards the older books. I don't really like getting highlights from books that I just read. And of course, as I mentioned before, I can receive bonus highlights, which means get book recommendations based on my reading history and a highlight quality filter, which is really, really important. Now, behind the scenes, this software is doing all kinds of really cool stuff to optimize the frequency of your highlights and when you get them. And I've actually talked to the CEO, Daniel Doran, and we've talked about spaced repetition algorithms and how they work and how you can predict when someone is actually going to forget a piece of information and serve that information to them at the minimum interval for them to not forget. Now, with that said, if there are books that you're studying for a specific period, you can actually increase the review frequency. So say I am uh, taking an exam or something and I want to increase or decrease, by the way, if I'm not interested in getting highlights from The Invisible Man because it's a fiction book, I can set individually each book to never or less or whatever it is that I want to do. So you have a lot of granular configuration here that you can set in order to make this experience your own. Truthfully, I don't mess around with most of this. I just want to know how many quotes I'm going to get in a given time period and how frequently that email is going to come. Now, I've said all of that and I've showed you all these settings, but what does the actual email look like? Well, this is the really, really cool part. You see, Readwise sends you this simple, beautiful email once a week, once a day or every other day and gives you these gorgeous quotes that all you have to do is read. So. As I scroll through this, I'm reviewing five or 10 different books that I read in the last decade. And I'm reminding myself of all of these quotes and all these things that I wanted to remember, which is so cool to me. Another feature that I really, really love is I can right here tag from the email 
I can discard them or I can share or favorite. Now, the share thing is so cool if you are on social media, if you're a thought leader, because you can simply click this one button and it is going to give you a share card right there with the book's title and a quote. And all you have to do is just share it on your various social media. So if you're a content creator and you want to constantly be putting out great content for your audience on Twitter or Facebook, this makes it so easy. You hit one button and you share it. Really, really cool bonus feature that they have given. And by the way, you also have new features that I haven't even gotten into, such as master if you want a quote to come back or giving them feedback, keeping, discarding. Really, really very cool stuff. So that is the Readwise desktop experience, but I also want to take a quick moment here and go through the mobile experience because it is such an integral part of the experience and they've worked so hard to make this app very, very useful. You can see here, I have the Readwise mobile app here on my uh, iPhone. And the first thing I want to point out is the daily review, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like a Duolingo where you have your daily flashcards or whatever uh, they may be and it gives you your quotes on the go. So you can actually be reviewing your quotes and highlights right from wherever you are without having to go into your email inbox, which can be a distraction, and read these and actually interact with them, tag them, share them, favorite them right on the go. So really, really cool. And then it will give you your streak for a little bit of gamification to get you uh, involved and get you engaged with all this. But the main feature that I love about this mobile app is the ability to add highlights on the go, not just from Kindle, Instapaper, and all those other services that I pointed out on the desktop, but most importantly, the ability to add via photo. So you can see, I'll just use their website as an example. I can take a quick picture of any old text, doesn't necessarily have to be a book, and it will actually go behind the scenes and perform optical character recognition right on that image, similar to the way that iPhones uh, do today. And you can see all I need to do is uh, highlight this, or maybe I wanna highlight this. And I can either save the highlight or if the highlight spans across two pages, you can hit turn page, which is really, really smart. And I simply hit save highlight. I can then edit it just in case there were any uh, issues with that highlight and hit next. And that's it. Uh, if I wanna add notes, I can add notes. I can put it into any of the books that I have scanned. I can add a new book or just put it into my quick passages. And that's it. In about 10 seconds, I've added a highlight. So one thing that I'll do often is I will go through some of the books that I have read in paper and just flip through them before I put them back on the bookshelf, get those highlights in there, get them into the system. And then I'm getting those email digests every single week of those highlights. So I'm not forgetting any of these books that I've spent so much time and energy learning and studying. So there you have it. One of my favorite secret tools for reviewing the things that you learn and never forgetting a book that you read. If you've enjoyed this video, I do want to encourage you to try out Readwise. You get a free extra 30 days. So I believe 60 days free at readwise.io slash superhuman. Additionally, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and make sure that you have the bell icon set so that you get notifications every time I come out with a new video. I've really enjoyed making this video for all of you and happy learning.